your host is Wendy Moses Kira Atkins here at the Mega Fest 2017 with Miss Megan McDonald. All right, Miss Megan McDonald is a beautiful, gorgeous local uh, Memphis makeup artist. Yeah, and today I'll just be picking her brain, asking her a couple of questions. This is all about her. We just want to get to know her a little bit. So, um, first things first, Miss Megan, what is your brand? What's the name of your business? Well, the name of my business is Beautiful Lash. So it's not your typical beautiful, it's beautiful with lash and then glam bar. So it's Beautiful Lash and Glam Bar. Okay, Beautiful Lash and Glam Bar, everyone. And how did you come up with that? Like, where did it come from? Well, it was one day I was previously at work and I was like, oh my gosh, I need a name for like my lash business. So I was just thinking, 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 thinking. And my friend, I really give credit to her because she was thinking like, Bow. So what can we put bow? And then we just came up. I was like, well, beautiful, beautiful. So it just kind of came up with bow, yeah. like beautiful. And then that's how we just came up with beautiful lash and Got glam it. bar because of the other things I offer. Okay, and what are some of the other things that you offer? Some of the other things that I offer, um, my main thing is lash extensions, okay. um, things like that. I also offer skincare services. So I'm really big with skincare. So I offer like facials, waxing, tanning, things like that. Yeah. And then here and there, I also uh, offer makeup services. Okay, cool. cool. So, um, how long have you been doing that? How long have you been doing makeup and, and into skin care? Well, makeup, I've always been into makeup ever since I was maybe 14, 15. Yeah. Um, I didn't really get into it until like I was maybe 16, 17. Watching a lot of YouTube, I really got into like makeup. Yeah. Um, the skincare came around when I went to school. I initially went to school for makeup. Okay. But... As school went on, I got more into the skincare. So that's how all of this came about was when I went to school and it just kind of really, I like found my passion with the beauty industry. All right, that's awesome. And about your business, like how long has, has it been around? Actually, it's rather new. I've been licensed. I've been a licensed esthetician uh, a little over a year now. Okay. Um, I've been doing lashes for about seven, eight months now, and this has actually been in business for about two months. So it's rather new. Fairly yeah. new business. Fairly new. Everyone. Fairly yeah. new business. And um, it sounds like that you're you know you're educated in it. And I had a question about like uh, let's say your, do you have like a favorite makeup brand or anything? Um, a favorite brand, um, well, currently my favorite brand is probably the Rihanna Fenty Beauty, which is what I have on now. The highlight, the foundation, the foundation is amazing. Okay. And I had kind of strayed away from like liquid foundations and things like that. But when the, she came out with that, yeah. um, I had loved it. My current, my previous favorite was probably MAC. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any like any beauty tips or skincare tips for for the ladies? Like any anyone out there? Ladies, I know we love makeup. We love to wear our makeup. But the first thing first is your skincare. If your skincare isn't on point, your makeup isn't going to look on point. Like if you have breakouts or dry skin or dry patches or like open leashes on your face, how do you think your makeup's going to look when you just cake up some more right. makeup on that? Right. Your makeup is supposed to cover, but it also enhances those breakouts or things like that, those lumps. Yes. So I just really stress to take care of your skin take care of like everything underneath that makeup because when you take it off i mean you want to still look the same makeup isn't supposed to change the way you look right. it's just supposed to enhance your beauty exactly. and so you definitely want to make sure your skin care underneath is on point before you put that makeup on what are like do you have any suggested skin care products because i know there are a lot out there that don't always work for mm -hmm. our color yeah us. <laughs> right 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 so what, what what would you give what would what kind of advice would you give it really depends on your skin type. Okay. Um, some people have dry skin, some people have oily. And typically with our with us ladies, we tend to have oily skin, like yeah. right here in the T-zone. So I definitely recommend something that's mattifying, something that's going to suck up that oil. Okay. Um, if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend a rich moisturizer. And my key ingredient, just after learning everything with skincare that I have learned, we need an SPF, a sunscreen on your face. Because if you don't have a sunscreen, I've noticed that it it causes premature aging. So fine lines, wrinkles, um, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, age spots. And you don't want a premature age. Like we're in our twenties, like. 
you don't want to get those wrinkles and things now. So I definitely recommend one thing for us ladies, our women of color, is get us a sunscreen. That's probably the biggest thing out here right now. All right, so thank you so much uh, for being with us. I just, uh, we're about to go into a break, so you all stay tuned. Devin Dion with the Style Center. I'm sitting here lonely with this empty chair, but you could be there. If you're promoting a local business, anything fashion-wise, you have a new clothing line coming out, you're a stylist, you need clients, come here so I can help you promote and get it out there to the world. Check out L3Television.com for more details. And we are back with the Style Center. Thank you so much for staying too. Uh, last we left off, I was just asking about the more more so about her skin care knowledge and her makeup knowledge, but I want to know everything that Miss Megan does. So tell us, tell us more, tell us more of what you do. So basically, what all I offer in my business right now, currently, is I offer the lash extensions. I offer skincare services such as facial waxing, um, brow and lash tint. Um, I have a variety of different facials that you guys could choose from. Um, I also provide makeup services for those, and I also provide training and education just for those who are looking for um, that knowledge on skincare or makeup or lashes or anything That's like awesome. that. And I'm definitely in the future, like my service menu is definitely going to grow. I want to bring on body contour, no. and I want to bring on microdermabrasion. Yeah. I want to bring on a ton of other different things that I'm slowly but steadily growing, but those things are definitely coming. Okay, and that's new. You mentioned um, teaching. Okay, so where did you learn from? Like, where did you go to school? Well, I have a degree in uh, marketing. I went to Mississippi State University. Um, and then once I finished that, I was working a little bit retail. Didn't really, didn't really suit me much. And so I decided to, like, let me do something that I really want to, like, right. I love. For you. Yeah, that I really like. So I went to Ghouls Academy. Um, okay. It's in Memphis, East Memphis. Um, and I went there, and that's where I got my beauty education. And from there, it just kind of took off. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, as far as you said teaching, as far as that goes, like, what would you offer? Like, what are you willing to share with other people? Just any type of knowledge that you guys would want to know. I have a lot of young ladies that do come in, and they want facials, and they have issues, and they're trying. They're like, well, what can I use for my skin? And what can I use for this? What can I use for that? And I have to really educate them on, you need to learn, like you know the type of skin that you have and the different products that you can use. Um, you have drugstore products, then you have high-end products. And my motto is invest in your skin because it's the first thing people see. Okay. So invest. I mean, you don't have to go out and spend three, four hundred dollars on products, but I mean, go to Sephora, go to Ulta, get your Mirad, get your uh, Peter Thomas Ross, get your, these are just name brands I'm throwing out there. Yeah, I was just about like, to ask, are these, some of the, are these some brands that you're familiar with or do you, have you used them yourself? Yeah, okay. I definitely have and I, um, I, I use Obashi, that's a great brand, that's more of a medical grade, so if you can't go there, you can go with Mirad, that's a decently priced area. If you can't get there, anything is better than nothing. Go to Walgreens, go to CVS, go to Walmart, get Neutrogena, Oil of Olay, uh, Clean and Clear. I mean, there's something out there for everybody that everybody and anybody can afford. If you can't do that, use some black soap. African black soap is amazing. But make sure you use a real one because there are some dupes out there that have these preservatives in it, that have all these chemicals in it, they aren't going to work. So make sure you invest in a good African black soap because that stuff does wonders. Like it really does. And um, as well, okay, so that's a facial cleanser. What would you recommend as like a moisturizer? For a moisturizer, um, just 
anything that's light and then I also recommend something with an SPF in it. If you don't want to take that extra step of just going to buy a sunscreen, you can get a moisturizer. That's what I use, a moisturizer with a sunscreen. Right. And it helps protect your skin, helps hydrate your skin, and you're fine for the rest of the day. Um, Mirad has a moisturizer in their environmental shield line. And it's a moisturizer that's an SPF 30 and it's amazing. And the environmental shield line, what I like about that is people don't know that when you walk outside, they're called free radicals, meaning it's just that free stuff that's floating in the air, like pollution, dirt, oil, sweat, all of that. And what that environmental shield line does is really protect the face and protect it from everything. And people just don't know, like, cleansing your face and everything is so important. So um, that's a lot of knowledge there. Like, how long have you been doing this? Like, how long have you been in this industry, per se? For a while now. Probably, I think I really started when I was like 14, 15, and I was into the makeup, like high school age. I love makeup. I wanted to get into that. But it wasn't until I got up there a little bit, I was working at Sephora, and I would have clients come in, and they were like, I need something to cover this, this, and this. And we go to put the makeup on, and I'm just like, well, the makeup looks good, but your skin right. isn't, it's conflicting with your makeup. So that's what sparked my interest with going to school. Like, I originally wanted to go for makeup, but I went to school, and once the three weeks of makeup was over, we got skin, and I was just like, this is it. Right, this like, is it. I love it. Like, okay. now I can go out and educate and teach people that you have to take care of your skin first before you can go and slap some makeup on it. Right. Because that makeup is still going to grass. Like, if you have a huge bump, it's still going to grass. Like, right. I mean, it is. So, that's what sparked my interest with, like, skin care. And also, my mom, she's a product junkie. So, yeah. she would always be like, okay, you need to clean your face. You need to do this. You need to do that. My mom's so, like that too. Stop getting yeah. your face, Renee. Stop being yeah. popular, Renee. That's, please tell me about this. Is it or is it not like a thing that chocolate is the major reason for breakouts? You know, I recently, so much. I recently just learned about this from another master esthetician educator. Okay. She said, like, this area of your face, you would think it's for hormones, which it is, but chocolate, chocolate is a big thing. Chocolate has an hormone in it that that boosts up oil production. Oh, okay. So when you have a lot of chocolate, it's gonna, it has a hormone that's gonna boost your oil production. When you have a lot of oil producing at a long amount of time, you have breakouts. Yeah. So you can bet that if you eat a Snickers, a Hershey's, a chocolate, whatever, within 45 hours, you're gonna have a bump or a breakout on your face. And it's gonna come like right in this area. So, so yeah, that's true. It, it is definitely true. All right now, well, um, all you chocolate lovers out there, y'all pay attention to that, but we're about to take a really quick break and we'll be right back with Miss Megan for the demonstration. L3 Media is the Miss South's premier videography and photography company. We specialize in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your special events or business, L3 Media is the company for you. You can contact us at all of our social media sites. You can like us on Facebook, check out our website, follow us on Twitter, or always feel free to email us. We are L3 Media, your number one source for all your videography and photography needs. Give us a call today. What's going on? I'm Janika Bates with Lights in the City, and I'm ready to do an interview. All I'm missing is you. Go to L3Television.com for more details. And we are back, back with the Style Center here. We have back Miss Monet, our model, and Miss Megan, our makeup artist. Right now, we are going to give you all a tutorial. I'm just here. I'll be asking questions that might need to be asked, so uh, y'all pay attention, and we're going to let Miss Megan do her thing. All right, so we have Miss Monet here, and I will be showing you guys a quick demonstration of like a natural eye uh, that we have going on here. So a couple of things I'm going to be using. The palette that I'll be using is my Morphe 350 palette, and it's just a really natural palette. It has some really beautiful colors in it, beautiful browns, golds, great for the fall. So what I'm going to be doing first is whenever you're trying to do any kind of makeup look, eyeshadow look specifically you need a primer so that's what I'm doing right now and this is an eye primer 
So and what is the primer? You said because it's for the uh, the eyeshadow, but what does it do specifically? Basically, what a primer does is it's going to set into all those fine lines and those wrinkles so you won't have any creasing. And also, it uh, prolongs your makeup throughout the day. Got it. So also, it just makes it last longer, and it just brightens your, um, your eyeshadow look. Well, so it's just like a base. You, I mean, you're starting with a clean palette. So, like, like if I was doing my nails, you put a base coat on so it can stay on there longer. It's and like even a base with coat. the base, you want to do it with a primer because that helps with prolonging your makeup. Got and it. it just sets in those fine lines and wrinkles so that makeup won't, so it won't cause creasing. Cool, cool. cool. Cause that happens. So I'm just gonna take that all over the lid. And what kind of brush are you using? Right now, I'm just using a flat brush, and with eyeshadows, you have three main brushes you want to use that are my favorite, I would say. One would be like a flat brush of some sort, and then this is like just to be able to pack on that eyeshadow, just to, you'll see me how I use this. And the second would probably be a fluffy brush, just to be able to blend the colors together. You don't want any harsh lines, nothing like that. And then just like another like blending like definer brush just to define those creases and things like that. So a fluffy brush, a flat brush, and then just like a definer brush. Those are my three main go-to brushes. Fluffy, flat, and definition. Those are all the kinds of brushes you'll need for some eyeshadow. Okay, ladies? So uh, first I'm going to take this fluffy brush and what I'm going to do is put on a transition color. Basically that's going to go all over. And basically what a transition color is just you take a neutral color and you just take it all over the lid and this one's going to bring all the colors together and keep it like a flow of colors. Got so it. I'm probably just going to take, I'm going to tap off the excess. That looks important, tap off the excess. Right now you're using the fluffy brush? I am using the fluffy brush just to get it all over the eye. And you just want to kind of keep it in the crease and just take it all the way down. So next I'm going to go in with the definer brush and I'm going to take another color and this is going to be her crease color. Okay. So I'm going to take a darker color something like this. So for the crease, would you normally use a darker color? Typically. Okay. Typically, I would, especially depending on what kind of look you're going for. Got you. So I'm just placing that right into the crease. So why do you not drag it? Who? Instead of, instead of like kind of dragging it like you did the rest of the eyeshadow, you your dad. Yeah, I okay, am Monet, Monet asked uh, why was Megan, instead of dragging it, she's kind of like, I don't know, dabbing it a little bit? <laughs> just because I'm trying to pack the color. Okay. So when you want to dab it, you just kind of like, I'm just like compressing and packing the color on there. Got as it. far as when I was just putting the color all over the lid, I was just going, it's just, right, it right. really matter. It's almost like painting, in a sense. Like, um, a, good, a very good friend of mine is a painter, and I always tell him that he could be a makeup artist. You really could. <laughs> like, it's a form of art. Yeah. Like, there's so many different types of makeup. You can do bridal makeup. You can do theater makeup. You can yeah. do television makeup. It's all kinds of makeup that you can do. Yeah. So now I'm gonna, with the, using the same brush, I'm just gonna go in over that crease with a darker color just to deepen that color a little okay. bit, just to deepen that crease a little bit. Got it. And we and you making it darker for the definition, right? Exactly. I know Look a little you. bit. Just a little you. bit. <laughs> I know a little just bit. Just creating so. that depth. Got it. Got it. I know as a model, this is like one of our favorite parts of ever, any kind of show or shoot, having our makeup done. Cause most of the time we don't know what we do, okay? 
<laughs> I'm gonna be the honest. One. I'll be the honest. One. Half the times I don't know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> Makeup's really fun because it, you just like right before your eyes you see everything coming together. You do, you do, exactly, exactly. I can agree with that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of take a, the flat brush to put the lid color on. Okay. And what I'm gonna do with this is spray a little bit of water on it. The trick about that is that if you want to keep it dry, I mean it still picks up color, but if you want to intensify the color, you want to add a little bit of water. Like right. I'm going to use like one of these goals to put like right on her lid. Okay. So I'm just going to spray this brush just a little bit. Got it. Just a spray of water on a flat brush. And I'm probably just going to go in with this, this uh, really pretty burnt orange. Okay. Like Bodak orange. No, I'm just playing. Don't do that. <laughs> It does because I I know from experience that I'd have to do that at least 27 it, times right. just, just right. to get it to look like that. Yeah. Just to get it to show up. Yeah. Exactly. With shimmers, it's hard. I have a question. Yes. So you put on primer and you did not put on uh, concealer. How necessary is a concealer if you just use a primer? Okay. Monet's question was that uh, the primer was placed on without any concealer. How important is the concealer if you already have the primer? I feel like they're interchangeable. Okay. Just anything, like people use a concealer in place of a primer. Um, it's basically used for the same thing. And even if you want to create a more intensified look, got it. you can use a concealer. I've, I've gone in between a concealer and a primer. And use them interchangeably. So, got it, got it. Because you do see some girls putting on, like, if you want to create a cut crease, okay. like, look, okay. girls will definitely use a concealer just to be able to define that cut got that they want to show it. You. Okay. But if you want more like a natural eye, I mean, you can use a primer just to, because these colors are just going to blend. And with the spritzing of the brush, I noticed that you haven't had to like revive it. You just have to do it that couple times in the beginning. The brush will pretty much stay wet. Okay. Because you don't want your brush, your brush really you wet. Want, yeah, you don't want it saturated in water. So then makeup starts to run in places it probably yeah, doesn't need to be. Yeah, the eyeshadow is powdered and it's not looking. So okay. remember that. Okay. Take that tip with you. Okay. So now <laughs> after I put that on, I'm just gonna go back in with a fluffy brush, and now I'm just gonna be blending these colors together. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a, let's see. And that was a question that Monet had asked me earlier that I just thought about right when you said that. How do you choose the colors for the, for eyeshadow? Just how you, the look. The look. Like if you like her, I used this for the lid. I used a, a new transition shade. And then something like, I just go by what you're wearing. Like if right. you want to match what you're wearing, right. I just put on like brown, this, and this. So I mean, it's just Got like it. three main colors that you would like to use. Got and it. that was one of the main questions that when I first got to make, I'm like, how do these girls yeah. like choose what they want to like? Right. These colors. I know me personally, like you said, I go based off my outfit. Um, I might throw in like a color that I don't have anything that doesn't yeah. have anything to do with what I got on. But that's just my preference. Yeah. Right. It is just basically what you want to do. So. And now I'm just going to go back in with a darker color. And I'm just going to just use this color to blend everything out. Just kind of put it in the outer corner just to define it a little bit more. And then like as far as 
speed, does that come with practice? You'll get like quicker and better. Like you will, you definitely will. And there's so much more that you can do with this, but I'm just showing you a basic yeah. like eyeshadow tutorial, like to how to put it on. Right. You can once like if you want to do a full face, you do your eyebrows, you can go in a highlight color under the brows. You can take the eyeshadow under the eye and smoke it out. Like yeah. as an eyeliner, like yeah. you can add mascara that it's so much more you can add eyeliner that you can do with this. So, I mean, if I had time to do a full face, I would, but this is just like a basic look, and I just think this is so beautiful. Like, I, mean, this I, I love it, because this, this shimmer right now, I never, yes, and I love right. shimmery uh, eyeshadow, but I never get my shimmer to come out shimmery. Right. It's always matted looking, and I don't like and that. one thing when it comes to shimmers, I always put a shimmer on the lid. I don't really put it anywhere else, because if you use three shimmers, like in your crease, your lid, and then outside, it's gonna all look silver. Yeah. It's gonna all look the same color. You don't wanna use three shimmers. So I use a shimmer and two mattes. Okay. Mattes are, you know, your important tip. Shimmer. Take that with right. you. Got so it. So that's just something, you know, a tip to take forward. So, Miss Megan, um, thanks. Like everyone, I love it. I love the look, Monet. You'll get the chance to see it in a minute. But, um, <laughs> How can we find you? What's your social media love? Okay, so you guys, if you want to see the top, uh, services that I offer, my website is www.beautiful. That's P E A T I F A U X. So that's beautifullash.com. And then my social media, my Instagram is beautifullash. And then my Facebook is beautifullash. And uh, that's pretty much that's all. All right, Miss Megan. Thank you so much for being a part of no the style. Thank We're you for really having me. To have you. No thank problem. You. Thank Thanks thank you so much, Monet, for being the model. Um, and thank you so much, uh, everyone out there, for tuning in with the Style Center. We'll see y'all next time.